Hi, good evening. My name is Aman Sharma. Uh, I'm an Oracle Ace. And in this short uh, video, we're going to see actually how to install the Oracle 19C, uh, which is available now as the version 19.3 uh, with the RPM method. So RPM method is nothing like uh, uh, you know the standard method how we actually do the installation of the uh, Oracle software and create database uh, by using the installer or the silent method RPM method basically is the database software is available to you as an RPM which you can actually download uh, you know from the uh, Oracle's website and you can actually install it with the RPM command now before we actually proceed uh, to get the installation uh, for this particular RPM method done, you can actually uh, download the particular software from the uh, Oracle's website, as I mentioned to you. So you can actually see that the Oracle Database 19C version 19.3 is available as an RPM and also as a standard, uh, you know, software. So I have already downloaded uh, the software. Uh, you know in terms of this machine which is running with uh, Oracle Linux 7 and it is available in the particular environment here so you can see that uh, this particular uh, RPM is already available now in order to install the 19c in an easy manner it is possible that you actually can take the help of the pre-install RPM uh, which is going to take care of all the uh, hardware uh, software related problems for example setting up the uh, proper OS parameters and so forth and that is actually going to be the uh, prerequisite uh, you know RPM of the 19C so I have already downloaded that and actually installed that using the yum Okay, so let's see what is the right name for that. Uh, okay, seems like it is not showing us. Let's try to check if we actually can find the information one more time. Okay, uh, somehow for some reason it's not showing it, but I have already installed it and that particular RPM is already installed. Now since that RPM is already there and uh, uh, you know we basically have I think if we actually go ahead and check out it is already mentioned Oracle database pre-install 19c so that's the RPM which is actually there already so anyways it's not showing with the yum command but uh, it is already installed in this particular uh, machine now since we already have the RPM available we can actually use the standard uh, RPM command or we can even use the yum command with the local install option actually to install the particular uh, database 19c in the RPM as an RPM so that's how it actually goes now you can actually notice that it is basically going to you know start the installation uh, now this will continue without really actually giving us any prompt so few thoughts about this particular uh, or you can say a few points actually about this particular installation uh, this is actually not something which you can actually control uh, you know by yourself so the installation is uh, basically going to happen on its own it's actually going to be uh, taken care by the system now you can actually notice that it says it's already installed so let's try to quickly demonstrate the removal of it and then see uh, you know if we can actually get it installed again so Oracle so we are now trying to remove it and uh, you can actually notice that it is basically trying to uh, you know uninstall this RPM from this machine now the, the whole point uh, of this particular RPM method is actually that you can go ahead and get the installation done uh, without really actually uh, you know involved in giving any kind of inputs uh, which is actually good if you are willing to just have the installation done without really doing any kind of customizations uh, to this particular install for example if you want to install it to a specific folder like 
usually the habit of us is actually to do it on u01 slash app slash oracle with the given home and so forth this method does not really allow you to uh, use that kind of uh, you know uh, offering or you can say a location because uh, this particular install is actually going to install the software and that's another thing to note uh, this method simply installs the software it does not create a database as what we can do when we actually are going to install the software you know with using an OUI so this particular method is simply going to be uh, installing the software for you which is also going to be installed with the uh, in the particular location of slash opt uh, slash oracle location which is non customizable so you can actually notice it is done and we can now go ahead and start installing it and you can actually notice that it is now giving us the option that it is actually installing uh, this particular uh, rpm is also just for the software installation as i already mentioned and it is just for the installation it is not exactly for any kind of upgrades or something so basically uh, this is actually going to be a method which is very easy to use of course and it is something which is going to be good if one is interested to uh, see actually how the installation is going to be done and uh, what kind of you know things we are going to be getting uh, after the install it's not really going to be actually uh, you know customizable which possibly is not going to be the the best option for you if you are willing to use this kind of method for production install in my opinion the database which is uh, created again it can be created using the standard tools or even you're going to be getting a script in the in the end of this particular install as a prompt using which you can actually create a database uh, silently again uh, that's going to be a script which is basically available to you uh, in, the, in, in this particular installation itself uh, but again that particular install is going to be uh, you know sort of something which will create a uh, you know dummy database for you or you can see a vanilla database for you with a standard name or cldb and so forth and uh, you know you really don't have much of the options to actually configure or customize that particular uh, database in any ways so this is basically how you go ahead and actually get the installation done of oracle 19c with the help of rpm method now this install will take some time of course it takes actually uh, the time depending upon you know your machine configuration or machine hardware so we're not really going to be actually waiting for this installation to be actually taken care uh, in terms of the complete manner you can see it's running in the root user and that means everything about the installation is going to be uh, completed without uh, you know given us any kind of prompt or giving us any kind of uh, you know messages that you know we need to run a particular file or something so this is uh, a simple install which is now you know getting getting done and it is uh, basically going to be completed in the same possible manner so hopefully this is going to be something which you're going to use or probably play around with if you do do uh, you know do this kind of install uh, you know in a production install uh, do let us know uh, in terms of the comments um, how did you do that and uh, whether this installation is something uh, which you are possibly going to be this kind of method is something which you are possibly going to be using uh, you know in terms of any kind of production installations anywhere hope uh, this is going to be useful for you and uh, that concludes this particular uh, short tutorial video thanks for watching and uh, to subscribe for such kind of uh, short videos and also uh, for the webinars, uh, tech webinars that we do, uh, you know, very often. Thanks a lot. My name is Aman, Aman Sharma, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Thank you.